Good morning to rainy night in Prestonsburg Friday night. Same result though for the Pikeville Lady Panthers. They win their third straight 15th region all a title 14 to 2 in five innings over Eastridge. Lauren Cash recaps the night. The less than desirable conditions Friday night did not deter the Pikeville Lady Panthers bid for their third straight 15th region all a championship in sixth in the last seven years. Well, a great, great opportunity, great accomplishment by our girls. And, uh, you know, we're excited about the opportunity to go down there and win some games. We did a couple years ago. We made it to the Final Four. So uh, just really excited about the opportunity. Great group of girls who've worked very hard to be where they're at. Pikeville Mercy ruled all four teams in route to another all A region title and outscored their opponents 59 to 6. Well, I think we're, you know, overall we're doing a lot of really good things. We're a little better defensively right now, but, uh, you know, we're, gonna, we're a team that's going to score some runs. And uh, you know, Eric has done a great job on the mound the last couple, couple games, especially. And uh, we're just a uh, you know, pretty solid team, I think, uh, for the most part, and uh, come together during this tournament. The Lady Panthers have reached the semifinal round in two of their last three appearances and look to make some more noise in Owensboro later this month. In Floyd County, Lauren Cash, WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, good stuff by Lauren there. This past Wednesday, Cumberland's baseball head coach Brad Shelton became the school's all-time leader in wins with 503. Josh McKinney with a guy who's won more baseball games than anyone else at UC. When it comes to numbers and sports, maybe no sport loves its stats as much as baseball. And when it comes to baseball at the University of the Cumberlands, no coach has ever won more games than Brad Shelton. It's just the ability to grind to go through. Baseball is such an up and down sport. and um, He's very level headed through it all. Um, pushes his guys, recruits really well. Um, and, and pushes us as players to be better, not only on the field, but off the field. Which turn helps us be better people. Shelton is currently in his 15th season with the Patriots and credits a lot of his success to two men who were never involved in baseball. Uh, my dad was a farmer and I learned a, a work ethic from him um, that has helped me to be successful I think. Uh, my grandfather ran a gas station and to see how he treated people and uh, the way he cared about his customers and those kind of things, I really think I learned the most that has prepared me to be successful from those two men. And, and they didn't really know a lot about baseball, you know. So, and he hopes what he has learned from them, his players can learn from him. I just always wanted to be a coach who would just let the guys play the game and not have to worry about making a mistake and just really play with a relaxed intensity. They, they can just go out there and give it everything they've got, and not worry about being embarrassed, you know. With each win, Shelton builds upon his already record-setting resume, but leaves an everlasting mark on a program and its players with each pitch. In Williamsburg, Josh McKinney, WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, now the basketball. The Warriors at the Grizzlies last night. Golden State chasing that Bulls wins record of 72. Fourth quarter, Grizz up three. Draymond Green showing off the muscles. Later, it's Steph Curry. He misses, but Green's there to tip it in. Now, they would go back, look at this, review it. Golden State would take the lead 100 to 99. Eight seconds to go. Lance Stevenson can't get it to go. Lance Stevenson he can't get it to go. The Warriors hold on for the win. They win it by one point, 100 to 99. First, they go to San Antonio today. That is a first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning. Good morning to the Bat Cats hosting Alabama at the Cliff yesterday. Game two of a three game set. Cats won three to two on Friday night. Yesterday, another close one. Top three all tied at one apiece. Zach Rex laying out. Steals a hit from Cody Henry. How about that? Bottom nine now. Bases loaded. Now tied at two. Riley Mahan. High and deep. Swami. Go back. Look up. Good night. That's the way to end the ball game if you're the Kentucky Wildcats. Mayhem with a walk-off grand salami. Cats win 6-2. They'll go for the three-game sweep later today. All right, how about the softball Cats? The 15th-ranked Kentucky Wildcats at number 9 LSU. Straight to the seventh inning. No score. Bases loaded. Silver Samuel with some gold. Knocks one straight into center field. That'll score run number one. Just her fifth RBI of the season. And guess what? 
That's the only hit the Cats had. That's the only run the Cats had, and that's all the Cats needed because they have Kelsey Nunley who strikes out people. Bianca Bell looking. A complete game shutout for Nunley. Cats win one nothing. All right, how about the Cumberland's Patriots? Of course, Brad Shelton becoming the all-time wins leader uh, for in coaching history at the Cumberlands. They were hosting rival Georgetown top four. Hector Marmoral scores his second run of the game off another uh, double by Georgetown. Tigers lead 3 nothing later in the fourth. Uh, this is Chaz Meadows. He drives home another run with a RBI single, part of a three-run inning for the Tigers. G-Town wins game one of this weekend series 10 to two. Now it was a cold day across the East Coast, as you can tell right here with these ladies. Morehead State at Xavier. Sophomore Damian Richard gave up three runs in the third inning, and two of those came off this Trevor Snyder double down the left field line. Reed Leonard and Jesus Carrera score. The next batter, Hunter Fain, squeezes it through the left side of the field. That'll bring in Snyder for the third run, and that's all they would need because, like Kelsey Nunley, Morehead State has Aaron Lashear. He got the win, goes seven innings, gives up just three hits, no earned runs. He also struck out 11. The head wins 3-1 to one over Xavier. All right, the Reds lose their first game of the season on Friday night, dropping 6-5 to the Pirates. The two back at it Saturday, and just like everywhere else in the East, it was a bit chilly in the chilly capital of the world. 38 degrees for first pitch. Pittsburgh with a chance to start the season 5-0 for the first time since 1983. Bottom one, A. Eugenio Suarez singles to right. Billy Hamilton, come on in. One of two hits for Suarez on the day. one nothing Reds. That's one hit. Here's the second hit. Bottom seventh, man on for Suarez, and that ball is gone. A bomb to center. Two-run shot. Reds win the game 5-1. Day three of the Masters, Jordan Speed came into Saturday with the 36-hole lead, but wasn't his best in Saturday's third round. Still got the 54-hole lead going into today. He, uh, who will he be paired up with? The Smiley guy. You haven't heard of the Smiley guy? Smiley Kaufman, this guy in the green pants. That's because he's playing in his first Masters. He's 24 years old, carded a 69 for the day. Spieth, well, he did not have a lot to smile about. Shot a one over par. He double bogeyed. The 18th, it's green jacket day though today, later at Augusta National. Some of the best of the best boys and girls high school basketball players across the state of Kentucky taking on some of the best of the best from the state of Ohio. Last night, Kentucky, Ohio, all-star game at Thomas More College. How about future Xavier Musketeer Quentin Gooden? Get some of that. He gets the show started. And then later, it's Gooden with the oop to Carson Williams, the Mr. Basketball himself. And then a little Ben Wire from uh, Newport Central Catholic. A couple of three balls, basically from the same exact spot. And then we're going to cap it off with some Gooden around the back to Carson Williams. Kentucky, it was a, it was a good showing, but uh, Kentucky loses. Wasn't enough. It was 94-92. Ohio wins the game. So could the girls win? Let's see. Battle at the border. with Three coverage area girls participated in the event, but we start with the MVP of the game, Lakota East. Samantha Rogers, she scored 12 points. She'll play for Cincinnati next season. North Laurel's Kayla Bruner, she scored eight. Jenkins Whitney Creech had four. And Southwestern Samantha Fitzgerald, uh, well, she played but did not score any points. The Ohio girls win as well, 76 to 71. So we got to look forward to the Kentucky-Indiana All-Star game now. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.